All right, so today we have a 2021 Sea Hunt Gamefish 25. Uh, this is a fishing machine. It's awesome boat. Um, we can start and look at the hull of it. It's a, we took this one in an all white uh, with a tan interior, which looks pretty nice. Um, the nice thing that we can say about pretty much all the Sea Hunts, but specifically this particular boat, is it's got a tremendous amount of Carolina flair. Um, you can see up front. Uh, and the flare comes all the way back to the brake, which is behind the captain seat, uh, which means that that is going to keep you dry if the seas get rough. Uh, and you can see that pretty much across the board for uh, all the sea hunts. The nice thing about the 25 game fish over the Ultra is this boat is 9 foot 2 inches wide. So it's wider than the Ultra, which is 8'9". This allows us to do two things. It allows us to get twin engines on it, which is great if you're going to do some offshore fishing but it also allows us to get a windlass built in through the deck up front here that we can't get on the 25 volt. There's not enough room in it. Okay, from the back, you can see uh, we have twin 150s. It's available with twin 200s. Uh, the 150s do an excellent job of doing it. Um, 21 degree dead rise. This means this is a deep feed boat. It's gonna ride real nice. It's got a 60 degree entry angle on the front, 21 degrees in the back. You can see we have uh, LED underwater lights that are standard. Um, it's got Bennett auto retracting tim trim tabs that are electric that are also standard on this boat. And you can see over here we have a pull out transom ladder that allows you to access the boat either on land or if you're in the water. And the nice thing about this is if you are in the water and you fall off, you can easily pull it out and get onto the boat safely. Okay, the other nice thing that you can see is that uh, these are counter rotating. When you do twins, we have counter rotating props. One spins one way, one spins the other way. And what that allows you to do is back straight. It allows you to track a straight line and it gets you up on plane a little bit quicker. Okay, We've got a transom door here that's lockable both ways. The nice thing about Sea Hunt for 2021, Yamaha electric steering is standard on these motors, which makes it super easy if you want to add an autopilot or even a joystick down the road. Everything now is fly by wire. No more hydraulic hoses, no more shift cables. Um, as we come back here, you see we have a removable rear bench seat that not only can come straight out, but it also can flop straight down so you can fish against it and actually have a little protection for your knees. Uh, our battle station back here has got a live well, fish box, all insulated and lighted as well. Okay, we have a side door over here which is really nice to get on and off the boat. It also has the ability to put a ladder so you can use it to get on and off the boat. Also, if you're docking or fishing, pulling stuff inside here is super easy, super heavy duty hardware and very nice. In this boat, there's actually a steel I-beam that keeps the integrity of the boat where they make the cutout for the door. So you're not losing any integrity of the hull at all. As we move forward here, we have another live well right here. Again, it's insulated. A little tackle station here. Of course, our bottle opener, if you can have a couple cocktails. Over here, we have a fresh water wash down. Okay. And then we have storage on both sides. Tackle, tackle box storage right here with removable drawers. And then over here, the same thing, a little bit different setup. Over here, we have a raw water wash down it allows us to access salt water if we want while we're in the water. Okay, we have a nice little storage compartment here. Notice all of our storage compartments are gasketed. So when you close them and lock them, any water that does get on top of there is going to flow off. If it does go into bilge, we have bilge pumps on auto floats in order to take care of that. So that would include this access hatch back here. All of the access hatches in the floor anywhere below the water line. And if you look over here on both sides of this boat, we have stainless steel bars that allow you to lock your feet in and fish the side of this boat when it's a little bit rougher and feel like you're inside the boat, fully controlled. And to me, it's right at, right at my knee. I'm 5'10", so for most people, this is a pretty deep fishing boat. Okay, so if you look at the hard top, it's preset for outriggers if you'd like to add them. This boat doesn't have the kingfish rod holders on, but they're an easy add-on if you like them. You do have rocket launches here, rod storage here, you can add any number of rod holders, cup holders slash rod holders if you'd like, um, based on your personal personal usage. But there's plenty of places to store rods and, and to fish this boat. It's a super easy fishable boat. 
like I said, nine foot two wide. It's got really wide walk arounds around the center console, but you don't feel like you're giving up any room on the boat. Uh, this boat has white powder coating with a white fiberglass hardtop. Uh, the nice thing about the fiberglass hardtop, it's got integrated speakers, integrated lights. It's got a box up here for your uh, Garmin GPS, an opening window. The other thing about Sea Hunt this year is uh, in 2020, they made this change is all the windows here are no longer acrylic. They're actually glass. So they will stay clean. They won't get fogged up and you can easily rinse them down with water if you want. Okay. Uh, we got a dual helm seat, both with flip up bolsters and drop down hand, hand supports, which is uh, arm supports, which is really nice if you're driving. Super comfortable. If you're a little bit shorter, we have a powder coated rail here that you can stand on to access or slide it right out of the way. In our helm, we have electric steering that's tiltable. Here's our controllers for our Bennett electric trim tabs. And the really nice thing about these is they have auto up, auto down. So you can push one button and have them go all the way up, all the way go down. Here's our Yamaha screen, command link plus screen. It allows us to get all of our engine information. This boat is um, equipped with a 12 inch Garmin XSV depth finder, sounder, and GPS screen. You can put a dual screen in here if you want. Um, and everything is controllable through the screen. So we can see our engine controls there. We can control our JL audio system with it as well. And any add-on components that you decide to put on, we can also access them through the GPS, okay? Um, let's talk about the audio system here. This is a JL audio system. It's got six speakers. Uh, two of the speakers are powered uh, by an amp. The other are not. It also has a wireless phone charger. So when you put your phone in here, it charges your phone while you're sitting here. Okay, so uh, up here on our controllers, everything is circuit breakered right next to it. You got a windshield vent that is an electric opening and closing vent. Courtesy lights, spreader lights, forward and aft, everything is LED. And this boat has a water system, so the misters, like Disney World, are built in here, so the hot day you can just flip them on and get a little bit of a relief, release from the heat. All right, so with this MFD um, GPS screen, you have the ability to not only go into your charts, your navigation charts, um, but you also have the ability to go back to your home screen and go to AV gauges, and this allows you to get Active Captain, which is an app for your iPhone to mimic what's going on on the screen. You can put use your media, you can use your engines, um, you can install video if you want, and hook it right up to the screen. It's a pretty multitasking screen uh, that allows you to you know pretty much do anything, even if you want to add on some other components like autopilot or like I said, joystick. It's very easy to add on. Um, and again, there's room for a second screen if you want to add it. All of our switches are labeled, lighted, and circuit breakers are right next to them. So you know exactly what you're controlling and exactly what is on and what is off. Okay, now I'm Bluetoothed into the audio system. Listen to a little bit of YouTube, Bullet the Blue Sky. Um, my phone is charging and I will just give you a little sound check here. So as we move forward on the console, you'll see that we have an enclosed head um, with a marine toilet, holding tank, macerator, and dockside pump out. You have some inter uh, interior storage here as well. Your battery switches and your circuit breakers are all against the wall over here. And there's a little mirror in there they put there, as well as an opening port light. All the cushions are removable, so you can take them away and you could either put them in the head or this boat has a cockpit storage drape that covers the entire area underneath here and allows you a good place to put your cushions. As you see also, powder coated rails up front, you have integrated cup holders and rod holders. All of our cleats are flush mount pop-up cleats so they won't get in the way of any lines, as well as the anchor windlass is not up front and gonna get in your way at all. Okay, if you look over here, 
Um, this might not make sense to anybody that's just looking at it, but again, you have your speakers up here, LED lights integrated everywhere, but little things like this. Here's a stainless steel cup holder, and it's drained, so no water gets into the hole of this boat. If it fills up with rain, it drains out here. This is a full self-bailing cockpit. And you know, any water that gets on this boat is gonna flow off the boat without going into your bilge at all. So this boat is built to NNMA standards. And that means, and a lot of people ask what these inspection hatches are on the floor. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. And basically what that is, is it allows you to access the fuel tank and to inspect the fuel tank to make sure that it's safe, everything's operating. We do it in the winter time for all of our customers, um, but it's not hidden. So you can get at it and you can look at it and you know, it might seem like a small thing, but it's actually a big thing, the fuel tank on your boat. 2021, 25 gauge push, 26 feet long, nine foot two wide, 144 gallons of fuel on board. It's a fishing machine. Come down and take a look at it.